Well, great strides uh, are being made in detecting and treating irregular heartbeats. Meg Terrell joins us now uh, with today's edition of Modern Medicine. Is it, there's pills, I know. Is it, there's, there's atrial and there's ventricular That's problem, right, atrial right? fibrillation is That's the drugs. most common is that form. Drugs? Well, you can use drugs to help treat it, but what we're talking about today is how we monitor irregular heartbeat. And it's actually surprising. There's big changes happening in how we monitor this. The current standard is uh, fairly old and fairly clunky. Take a listen to this. Gabriel Sarah's heart is a medical mystery. It can cause uh, syncopal episodes, which are uh, times when I lose consciousness. I can't see, I can't hear, uh, the room goes black, and I can collapse. Since 2012, he's had ventricular tachycardia, causing the lower chamber of his heart to beat too fast. His doctors don't know why. He's one of millions of Americans with cardiac arrhythmia, or abnormal heartbeat. With advancements in miniaturization and data storage, doctors say the way they monitor heart rhythms is changing, from cumbersome to convenient. When I first saw it, my first reaction was, you know, why didn't I think of this? <laughs> Sarah's cardiologists fit in with the Zeo patch from San Francisco-based iRhythm Technologies. Worn continuously for 14 days, the patch generates 30,000 pages of data on millions of heartbeats. They will have more information about uh, a normal heartbeats than, than any database in the world. A collection of information that becomes more useful as it grows. That massive amount of data that gets curated by these algorithms is really under the control of a machine learned capability. And it gets smarter as we put more and more data into the database. So doctors are excited about this because it could potentially help patients get better diagnoses. They're more comfortable wearing it. It's also a big business opportunity, about 4 million cardiac tests done in the U.S. every year, more than a billion dollar market possibility here. I was really surprised to learn that, you know, this thing was a big advance, but right now people wear these really clunky monitors with a lot of electrodes attached to their chest. Or, in, or a pa I like that it's taped on the outside. Yes. Instead of like stuck in my, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, I mean, that's bad enough because you... You know, when you pull it off, it's gonna, you know, your hair or something like a. <laughs> well, they actually do. Um, That's bad take enough. Take the hair off before they apply it. Oh, they take it off. They do. Yes, we so watch it happen. Is this mostly for treatment, or is this for further study? This is because to when you collect the data, right? Exactly. It's it's for further study of the problem overall. Yes, this is to try to figure out what's going on with the patient, and then doctors can make decisions about how to treat. But then you're not collecting any other data, which is coincident with the with the irregular heartbeat. So do you know? You have a better sense of what's causing it if the only data you're collecting is the heartbeat. Well, presumably, if they wanted to collect other information, they could have other ways of doing that as well. Um, they do say that while this is more convenient, there are limitations to exactly what you can test using it. Meg, thank you. Thank you, Meg guys. Terrell.